there.
Okay. Congratulations to class of 2017. Um, I would like to thank my parents for making this possible, Jackie, Emily, and Monica for making this experience so fantastic, and to my instructors, Rita, Flory, and Rivas. Hi. Uh, okay, Chikuchin Eric is my name. I'd like to thank the Almighty God for this uh, wonderful opportunity to attend Platt College, Ontario. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents who got me through some very tough nights. You know, it was very rough. I'd like to thank the Owens for sowing their seed in my life to get me started and believing in me. I'd also like to thank my instructors, uh, John Nami, Jose Victorio Mansali, uh, Mr. Julius Autry, uh, Mr. Bob Wandell, Gina Pierce, Mr. Mark Sousa, um, Mr. Daniel Sudashian. You know, I'd like to also thank my friends. And then there was a former instructor at the Alhambra campus, uh, Chiedozi Ohiri. Uh, I'd like to thank him for getting me through. So my friends, family, and I'm happy I'm being called to become a respiratory therapist. So go RTs. My name is Yaroline Massa. I am in the vet tech program here in Flat Ontario, I would like to thank Lily, Destiny, my mom, Alex, for always being there to support me. I want to thank the teachers for always being there for me. Kristen, Tiffany, Jamie, Dr. Moore, and a big thanks to Dean for always having his door open. I also want to thank the staff, um, Norma, Tiffany, Cherise, Stephanie, and Jesse for giving me the opportunity to work at the school, and I would like to give a big congrats to the class of 2017. Hi, my name is Susanna Meister, and I wanted to congratulate the class of 2017. I wanted to thank everybody here at Platt. They've been very supportive. I wanted to say a very special thank you to my husband, Joe. He was very supportive during this last 18 months. And um, that's it. Congratulations, everybody. Hi, my name is Rosemary, and I just wanted to thank my family's friends and teachers for always supporting me, and a special thank you for my boyfriend for always being there for me and helping me reach my goal. Hi, my name is Andrea Huizar. Congratulations to the class of 2017. I'd like to thank my family, friends, everyone who supported me along my journey, and especially the teachers, Dean, Kristen, Dr. Moore, Tiffany, and Jamie. Thank you for everything. What's good, fam? I'm Stephanie. Uh, I'd just like to thank my family and my friends for coming and supporting me. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for putting up with me. I appreciate that real quick. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Um, thank you so much. So I want to thank all my teachers who put up with me, all my absences, all my accidents. Um, I want to thank the administration at Platt because they have been wonderful. I want to thank my kids for always supporting me, my family, my mom and dad, and I'm just grateful to be a graduate of Platt and have my associate's degree in medical administration specialist. Thank you, Platt. My name's Martha. I just want to thank all my family, my friends, um, my classmates, and um, all the professors and teachers that have helped us out, and the staff. You can't forget about the staff because they're so cool, like Johnny. And so um, I just want to thank everybody. I'd like to thank the instructors that I've had in the program all the way throughout, um, including Mrs. Rye that helped me refine my writing, and Mr. Furman, who also helped me in my speeches. I would also like to thank Mr. Richardson and Dr. Marlowe for helping us getting ready for the respiratory program. And I would definitely and uh, give a heartfelt big thank you to all of the people in the respiratory program that helped me along the way, um, including and not limited to Ansali, Anami, Bob, and Sousa. All of them have been a great help in developing me and getting me ready for my career. And I'd just like to say thank you to all the people who have helped me along the way either classmates or and uh, the, the rest of the, the um, you know, staff that's helped me out. And that's it, thanks. I want to give a thanks to God first for allowing me to continue this journey. I want to give a special thanks to my mother because without her I wouldn't be here in the first place. 
I want to give thanks to certain faculty members here at Platt College, Patty, Kevin, Debbie, and many more. My year here at Platt College has and forever will be a memorable place. Thank you. Well, first and foremost, I want to give a big thank you to my mom and dad for always supporting me. And you know, I could have not made it anywhere near here without you guys. Thank you for you know just giving me this opportunity. I also want to thank my girlfriend Elena for just always you know supporting me as well and you know, the advice you give me and just always keeping a level head with me. Uh, I want to thank uh, the faculty here. You know, Patty, Carly, Kathy, um, Kimberly, Kevin. All all you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you, I mean, really all the staff here for being so welcoming and opening and, you know, giving me this opportunity and thank all of you. Special thank you to my family, um, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my brother, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law. I know he's not here right now, but thank you all. Um, I appreciate you all. I'd like to say I love you to my family, everybody that has been there supporting me. Um, I couldn't have done this without you guys. How's it going, Platt? Um, very thankful for the opportunity you guys gave me. Uh, it's the happiest day of my life. I want to thank my friends, my family, my wife for all the support. And I made it, baby. And Platt College, you were awesome. And uh, can't wait to go work and help people, heal people. And uh, thanks for the opportunity to study and accomplish my goal. Thank you. I just want to thank family and friends for being here and supporting me through this journey. I've taken upon myself to become a respiratory therapist. I want to thank my parents for being my number one supporters through this journey. As well as I want to thank Valente and my son for giving me the strength and the motivation to keep going when times have gone tough. I want to give a special shout out to the respiratory, depart respiratory therapy department for guiding us in being successful in this career. As well as I want to thank Cherise, Johnny, and Jesse in career services for always giving me positive advice and always being there for their students and helping us out when we need help and I want to thank my classmates as well for being there long study hours you know trying to make it through but we finally did it and I just want to thank everybody for everything they have done for us to make it this far. Hey guys it's me uh, I'd like to uh, make a special dedication to uh, my family my friends uh, most importantly my girlfriend Jacqueline and my kids who without them I wouldn't be in this program to begin with. Um, as far as my friends are concerned, thank you so much for your support and for helping me through uh, studying and getting me through uh, college and making it this far to improve my life as well as my kids. Um, another dedication to uh, the staff here at Platt College. Um, without them I wouldn't be able to uh, get the resources I need to make it this far as well. Um, but, um, of course, my parents for uh, letting me live this life and achieve all that I can. Because without you guys seeing your hard work and your dedication throughout the years as me growing up, I wouldn't be able to uh, accomplish what I did right now. So thank you guys so much. Um, I love you guys and I uh, hope you make you guys proud. I just want to say thank you to my friends and family who are here today helping me celebrate my graduation. I want to say a special thank you to my mom, Steve, Sophia, my dad, Veronica, and my grandma, Gloria, they really helped me um, get to where I am today, and they believed in me. I want to thank Richard for helping me believe in myself. Um, I want to thank my daughter, Ava, who loves me unconditionally and is the reason why I'm here. I want to thank Evelyn for helping me develop my skills and as I become a sonographer. <laughs> she helped me not only um, professionally, but um, personally as well. So thank you for that. Um, thank you to Jasmine, Andrea, Myrna, and Kristen. Without you guys, I wouldn't have gotten through the program. Okay, so I just wanted to thank my mom and Louis. Uh, thank you guys, you helped me out so much. Uh, Selena, uh, babysitting is awesome, you know? Um, and. I, of course, want to thank my daughters, Riley and Erin. They're the reason why I started this program. And, of course, I want to thank my husband, Aaron. Helped me so much. <laughs> and um, last but not least, I want to thank Andrea and Brittany. You guys really were there for me. Uh, thank you. I love you guys all. Thank you to everybody who's here supporting me today. Thank you to my mom and my dad. Mainly my mom. Through it all, you watched the girls and you supported me like no one else has. Um, thank you to my former boss, 
Dr. Durant and Joan. If it weren't for you two, I wouldn't even have been here today. I would have never got into the program. So thank you again. Um, to my girls, Savannah and Sabrina, if it weren't for you two, I would have never even finished the program. So thank you for being there and not driving me crazy through it all from start to finish. And thank you to my friends, mainly Brittany, Jasmine, Marina, and Kristen. Thank you girls and I love you and can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Hi, I wanna thank everybody. Thank you, mom. Thank you to all my sisters and everyone who supported me. Thank you, Miss V, I love you. Dr. A, you're the best. And to all my classmates, we made it, we did it, and peace out. Hi, thank you so much for basically supporting me in everything you guys did. I list all of you, but like you know, there's like 20 of you in there, so. I love you all, thank you so, so, so much. I wanna give a special thank you to my amazingly supportive parents. I wouldn't have been able to do it without either of you. I, I love you guys, and to my family and friends, I wanna thank you guys. Your encouraging words is what got me through my most difficult days. Um, to my respiratory family, thank you. My classmates, all the staff here at Pack College Alhambra. Um, I appreciate all of your help and all of your support, and thank you for helping me get to my goal. Thank you to all of my friends and my family for supporting me through my journey. A big special thank you to my mom for always allowing me to pull the grandma card on her. I'm sorry I don't thank you enough for all that you do for my daughter and I, but I am very appreciative and thankful for all that you do. And to my daughter Gracie, thank you for always encouraging mommy when I needed to hear it the most. I love you to the moon and back. To my teachers and my directors, just thank you for always giving me the guidance that I needed. Um, encouragement. Um, and just helpful knowledge throughout the through this journey. And to my cohort, wow, has this been a journey. Um, but we've made it, and I know that lifelong friendships have been created from this time. We're the best. Thank you. I just wanna say that I'm so thankful that I went to Platt College. It's totally changed my life. I'm happy to say that I'm finally working in the field and making money, so it's all paying off. Um, special thanks to my teachers, Romy, Anula, and Maggie, they were super fantastic. And I wanna say thank you to my parents for not letting me starve while I was in school. Yellow yellow. First and foremost, I wanna thank my parents for supporting me throughout my whole career and schooling, of course. I wanna thank my brother and Crystal. Thank you for coming for my graduation. I wanna thank my professors. Thank you so much for being so patient with me and helping me. And uh, thank you to my boyfriend, Steve. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for always being there for me. All right, um, this one's for my pops. Hope you're proud of me. Love you and miss you. Hi, family, friends, fellow RT classmates, directors and staff and instructors. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting me, encouraging me, and pushing me through this um, journey in my life. A special thank you to my husband, um, mom and dad for putting up with me this past year. I really appreciate everything you have done for me and a special hello to my two babies. Hi Nathan and Noah. Mommy loves you. Okay. Congratulations to class of 2017. Um, I would like to thank my parents for making this possible, Jackie, Emily, and Monica for making this experience so fantastic, and to my instructors, Rita, Flory, and Rivas. Hi. Uh, okay, is my name. I'd like to thank the Almighty God for this uh, wonderful opportunity to attend Platt College, Ontario. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents who got me through some very tough nights. You know, it was very rough. I'd like to thank the Owens for sowing their seed in my life to get me started and believing in me. I'd also like to thank my instructors, uh, John Nami, Jose Victorio Mansali. 
Mr. Julius Autry, uh, Mr. Bob Wendell, Gina Pierce, Mr. Mark Sousa, um, Mr. Daniel Sudashian. You know, I'd like to also thank my friends. And then there was a former instructor at the Alhambra campus, uh, Chiedozi Ohiri. Uh, I'd like to thank him for getting me through. So my friends, family, and I'm happy I'm being called to become a respiratory therapist. So go RTs. My name is Yaroline Mesa. I am in the vet tech program here in Flat, Ontario. I would like to thank Lily, Destiny, my mom, Alex, for always being there to support me. I want to thank the teachers for always being there for me. Kristen, Tiffany, Jamie, Dr. Moore, and a big thanks to Dean for always having his door open. I also want to thank the staff, um, Norma, Tiffany, Cherise, Stephanie, and Jesse for giving me the opportunity to work at the school. And I would like to give a big congrats to the class of 2017. Hi, my name is Susanna Meister, and I wanted to congratulate the class of 2017. I wanted to thank everybody here at Platt. They've been very supportive. I wanted to say a very special thank you to my husband, Joe. He was very supportive during this last 18 months. And um, that's it. Congratulations, everybody. Hi, my name is Rosemary, and I just wanted to thank my family's friends and teachers for always supporting me, and a special thank you for my boyfriend for always being there for me and helping me reach my goal. Hi, my name is Andrea Huizar. Congratulations to the class of 2017. I'd like to thank my family, friends, everyone who supported me along my journey, and especially the teachers, Dean, Kristen, Dr. Moore, Tiffany, and Jamie. Thank you for everything. What's good, fam? I'm Stephanie. Uh, I'd just like to thank my family and my friends for coming and supporting me. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for putting up with me. I appreciate that real quick. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Um, thank you so much. So I want to thank all my teachers who put up with me, all my absences, all my accidents. Um, I want to thank the administration at Platt because they have been wonderful. I want to thank my kids for always supporting me, my family, my mom and dad, and I'm just grateful to be a graduate of Platt and have my associate's degree in medical administration specialist. Thank you, Platt. My name's Martha. I just wanted to thank all my family, my friends, um, my classmates, and um, all the professors and teachers that have helped us out, and the staff. You can't forget about the staff because they're so cool, like Johnny. And so um, I just want to thank everybody. I'd like to thank the instructors that I've had in the program all the way throughout, um, including Mrs. Rye that helped me refine my writing, and Mr. Furman who also helped me in my speeches. I would also like to thank Mr. Richardson and Dr. Marlowe for helping us getting ready for the respiratory program. And I would definitely and uh, give a heartfelt big thank you to all of the people in the respiratory program that helped me along the way, um, including and not limited to Ansali, Anami, Bob, and Sousa. All of them have been a great help in developing me and getting me ready for my career. And I'd just like to say thank you to all the people who have helped me along the way either classmates or and uh, the, the rest of the, the um, you know, staff that's helped me out. And that's it, thanks. I want to give a thanks to God first for allowing me to continue this journey. I want to give a special thanks to my mother because without her I wouldn't be here in the first place. I want to give thanks to certain faculty members here at Platt College, Patty, Kevin, Debbie, and many more. My year here at Platt College has and forever will be a memorable place. Thank you. Well, first and foremost, I want to give a big thank you to my mom and dad for always supporting me. And you know, I could have not made it anywhere near here without you guys. Thank you for you know just giving me this opportunity. Also, want to thank my girlfriend Elena for just always you know supporting me as well and you know, the advice you give me and just always keeping a level head with me. Uh, I want to thank uh, the faculty here. You know, Patty, Carly, Kathy, um, Kimberly. Kevin, all, all you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, I mean, really all the staff here for being so welcoming and opening and, you know, 
gave me this opportunity and thank all of you. Special thank you to my family, um, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my brother, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law. I know he's not here right now, but thank you all. Um, I appreciate you all. I'd like to say I love you to my family, everybody that has been there supporting me. Um, I couldn't have done this without you guys. How's it going, Platt? Uh, very thankful for the opportunity you guys gave me. Uh, it's the happiest day of my life. I want to thank my friends, my family, my wife for all the support. And I made it, baby. And Platt College, you were awesome. And uh, can't wait to go work and help people, heal people. And uh, thanks for your opportunity to study and accomplish my goal. Thank you. I just want to thank family and friends for being here and supporting me through this journey I've taken upon myself to become a respiratory therapist. I want to thank my parents for being my number one supporters through this journey, as well as I want to thank Valente and my son for giving me the strength and the motivation to keep going when times have gone tough. I want to give a special shout out to the respiratory, depart respiratory therapy department for guiding us in being successful in this career, as well as I want to thank Sharice, Johnny, and Jesse and career services for always giving me positive advice and always being there for their students and helping us out when we need help. And I want to thank my classmates as well for being there, long study hours, you know, trying to make it through, but we finally did it. And I just want to thank everybody for everything they have done for us to make it this far. Hey guys, it's me. Uh, I'd like to uh, make a special dedication to uh, my family, my friends, uh, most importantly, my girlfriend Jacqueline and my kids who without them I wouldn't be in this program to begin with. Um, as far as my friends are concerned, thank you so much for your support and for helping me through uh, studying and getting me through uh, college and making it this far to improve my life as well as my kids. Um, another dedication to uh, the staff here at Platt College. Um, without them I wouldn't be able to uh, get the resources I need to make it this far as well. Um, but um, of course my parents for uh, letting me live this life and achieve all that I can because without you guys seeing your hard work and your dedication throughout the years as me growing up I wouldn't be able to uh, accomplish what I did right now so thank you guys so much um, I love you guys and I uh, hope you make you guys proud. I just want to say thank you to my friends and family who are here today helping me celebrate my graduation I want to say a special thank you to my mom Steve Sophia my dad, Veronica, and my grandma, Gloria, they really helped me um, get to where I am today, and they believed in me. I want to thank Richard for helping me believe in myself. Um, I want to thank my daughter, Ava, who loves me unconditionally and is the reason why I'm here. I want to thank Evelyn for helping me develop my skills and as I become a sonographer. <laughs> she helped me not only um, professionally, but um, personally as well. So thank you for that. Um, thank you to Jasmine, Andrea, Myrna, and Kristen. Without you guys, I wouldn't have gotten through the program. Okay, so I just wanted to thank my mom and Louis. Uh, thank you guys, you helped me out so much. Uh, Selena, babysitting is awesome, you know? Um, and. I, of course, want to thank my daughters, Riley and Erin. They're the reason why I started this program. And, of course, I want to thank my husband, Aaron. Helped me so much. <laughs> and um, last but not least, I want to thank Andrea and Brittany. You guys really were there for me. Uh, thank you. I love you guys all. Thank you to everybody who's here supporting me today. Thank you to my mom and my dad. Mainly my mom. Through it all, you watched the girls and you supported me like no one else has. Um, thank you to my former boss, Dr. Durant and Joan. If it weren't for you two, I wouldn't even have been here today. I would have never gotten into the program. So thank you again. Um, to my girls, Savannah and Sabrina, if it weren't for you two, I would have never even finished the program. So thank you for being there and not driving me crazy through it all from start to finish. And thank you to my friends, mainly Brittany, Jasmine, Marina, and Kristen. Thank you girls and I love you and can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Hi, I wanna thank everybody. Thank you mom, thank you to all my sisters and everyone who supported me. 
Thank you, Miss V. I love you, Dr. A. You're the best. And to all my classmates, we made it, we did it, and peace out. Hi. Thank you so much for basically supporting me in everything you guys did. I list all of you, but like you know, there's like 20 of you in there. So I love you all. Thank you so, so, so much. I want to give a special thank you to my amazingly supportive parents. I wouldn't have been able to do it without either of you. I, I love you guys. And to my family and friends, I want to thank you guys. Your encouraging words is what got me through my most difficult days. Um, to my respiratory family, thank you. My classmates, all the staff here at Pack College Alhambra. Um, I appreciate all of your help and all of your support. And thank you for helping me get to my goal. Thank you to all of my friends and my family for supporting me through my journey. A big special thank you to my mom for always allowing me to pull the grandma card on her. I'm sorry I don't thank you enough for all that you do for my daughter and I, but I am very appreciative and thankful for all that you do. And to my daughter Gracie, thank you for always encouraging mommy when I needed to hear it the most. I love you to the moon and back. To my teachers and my directors, just thank you for always giving me the guidance that I needed. Um, encouragement. Um, and just helpful knowledge throughout the through this journey. And to my cohort, wow, has this been a journey. Um, but we've made it, and I know that lifelong friendships have been created from this time. We're the best. Thank you. I just wanna say that I'm so thankful that I went to Platt College. It's totally changed my life. I'm happy to say that I'm finally working in the field and making money, so it's all paying off. Um, special thanks to my teachers, Romy, Anula, and Maggie, they were super fantastic. And I wanna say thank you to my parents for not letting me starve while I was in school. Yellow, yellow. First and foremost, I wanna thank my parents for supporting me throughout my whole career and schooling, of course. I wanna thank my brother and Crystal, thank you for coming for my graduation. I wanna thank my professors, Thank you so much for being so patient with me and helping me. And uh, thank you to my boyfriend, Steve. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for always being there for me. All right, um, this one's for my pops. Hope you're proud of me. Love you and miss you. Hi, family, friends, fellow RT classmates, directors and staff and instructors. I just wanted to say thank you for supporting me, encouraging me, and pushing me through this um, journey in my life. A special thank you to my husband, um, mom and dad for putting up with me this past year. I really appreciate everything you have done for me and a special hello to my two babies. Hi Nathan and Noah. Mommy loves you. Ladies and gentlemen, your graduation will begin in 10 minutes. Wow. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your graduation will begin in five minutes.
beautiful ladies and gentlemen, our graduation ceremony is about to begin. If we could please clear out the center aisle, the graduates will be walking in shortly. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your graduation is about to begin.
Good, af good afternoon, graduates, family, and friends. My name is Daryl Goldberg, Vice President of Operations for Platt College, and I'd like to officially open the graduation and commencement ceremony for the Platt College graduating class of 2017. A few weeks ago, our nation marked the 16th anniversary of the September 11th attacks on our country. Since then, over 7,000 servicemen and women have given the ultimate sacrifice so that we may enjoy the freedoms we all share today. Many of our graduates here today have served in combat and non-combat roles, and Platt College would like to thank you deeply for your service and sacrifice. And also, to let you know that we understand that the cost of freedom is truly not free. In a salute to our veterans, I would like to ask you all to please stand as we present the Blue Eagles Total Force Color Guard from March Air Force Base, California, along, along with our veteran graduates from the class of 2017. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life, and I had to start again. Just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston and New York to LA, where there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. Before we get to our national anthem, is there a Brian Gonzalez graduating and that's here today? Brian? Can you come up here for a second, Brian? 
you're not in trouble. How are you, Brian? Good, how are you? Brian, we know your father has been deployed for quite a while, and he called me, not yet, he called me and wanted me to personally wish you well and congratulate you on your special day. But unfortunately, I won't be able to do that. I'm going to have Sergeant Gonzalez come up here and do it himself. Sergeant Gonzalez, thank you for coming, and stay safe. We appreciate your service. With the exception of the graduates, I would like everyone to please remain standing and remove your hats as we welcome Kiko recording artist Tina Hargett to sing our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the Total Force Color Guard from March Air Force Base. Please be seated. Six years ago, Platt College announced the formation of the Glenn Morshower Extra Mile Scholarship a $10,000 scholarship award given to a Platt College student who demonstrated extreme talent in the areas of visual communication and graphic design. This year, it was very difficult as we received several amazing works of art from our talented students. This year, we're pleased to announce the winner of the 2017 Glenn Morshower Extra Mile Scholarship to Ontario student Heather McNay. Come on up, Heather.
Congratulations, Heather. I would now like to welcome to the stage our Master of Ceremonies, Alhambra Dean, Dr. Thomas Levely. Welcome, graduating class of 2017, family, friends, honored guests, faculty, staff, and administrators. Today, we have gathered to celebrate a very important event. That is the graduation of the class of 2017. Education is so important in life. It is key to success and happiness. Doors will now be open that once were closed to you. There are so many exciting possibilities that are out there in your grasp. The education you earned here at Platt College is priceless. You cannot put a dollar amount on it. Treasure it and don't ever let it go. It seems just like yesterday, you're all new students in orientation, nervous, scared, not knowing what the future would behold. I couldn't answer that question for you. I was just thankful you came back the next day. Your time here at Platt has not been an easy journey from time to time. The road was tough. Some days you were worrying if I was ever gonna make it to class or in time. Was I gonna be able to pass that test? Could I figure out that math equation? Did I have enough money for gas? Many days you spent thinking you're never gonna make it. But guess what? You've made it. I was asked to say something motivational to the graduates today. What words of wisdom can I share with you? Then it came to me, I have something just for this occasion. There's a poem on my wall that I'd often read to students coming to me for motivation. And I'd like to share that poem with you. When you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. Anything in your heart desires will come to you. If your heart is in your dreams, no request is too extreme. When you wish upon a star, as dreamers do. Fate is kind. She brings to those who love the sweet fulfillment, their secret longing. Like a bolt out of the blue, fate steps in and sees you through. When you wish upon a star at Platt College, your dreams really do come true. Please, please never stop reaching for, for those stars or your dreams. You've worked very hard and long to achieve your goals and dreams. We here at Platt College are very proud of you. Remember, the power of education is amazing. We here at Platt encourage you to seek more education and never stop learning. At this point today, I'd like to take a moment to thank a, several groups. First group is a group of people who have been with you morning and day, night, They've seen some things like good, bad, and ugly. Every day they are with you to lean, for you to lean on. Family, friends, and loved ones should be treasured, for they are the wind beneath your wings. At this moment in the ceremony, I'd like to give a round of applause for our students, family, friends, and loved ones. Thank you. The next group I'd like to acknowledge are those people who worked every day at school with you, encouraging you, pushing you, motivating you, educating you, and never giving up on you when at times you might have given up on yourself. At this moment, I'd love to acknowledge the staff, faculty, and administration at Platt College. Let's give them a round of applause. The last group I'd like to acknowledge are those people who worked very hard setting up and organizing this graduation ceremony. I would especially like to jo thank John Ruby, because it takes a lot. It takes a lot to organize a ceremony with 7,000 people there. So a special thanks to John Ruby for all his hard work. <clears throat> You've grown so much since the first day in orientation. Now today, graduates, there's a whole new world out there for you. 
You probably are anxious, nervous, apprehensive, and not knowing what your future holds. What does your future hold? As a CLAT, a CLAT graduate, your future holds success. Congratulations, Platt College graduates of 2017. Let's give them a round of applause. Have you ever been sitting, watching TV, or watching a movie at a theater, and said to yourself, hey, I recognize that guy. It's that guy from that show. Even last week on Jimmy Kimmel, he was a finalist on the That Guy from That Show Award. Well, here are just a few of the blockbuster movies and television shows that Platt College's favorite That Guy can be seen in. Netflix series Narcos, Bloodline, almost every Transformers movie, Moneyball, X-Men, Pearl Harbor, The West Wing, Law and Order SVU, NCIS Los Angeles, Supergirl, and of course, all seven seasons of Fox's Series 24. For you gamers out there, you would recognize his voice as Overlord and Agent G in Call of Duty Modern War Welfare 2 and Battlefield 3. If you've experienced Transformers The Ride at Universal Studios, you'll recognize him as General Morshower warning you of the incoming invasion of the Autobots. Well, that guy's name is Glenn Morshower. Despite Glenn's very busy shooting schedule, for the past seven years, he has always found time to come back and see us and inspire us with his message. Besides appearing in several Hollywood blockbuster movies and award television series over the years, Glenn is an accomplished motiva motivational speaker and acting instructor. His extra mile presentations are a series of performances which are a combination of motivational speaking, storytelling, and coaching on achieving happiness through this journey of life. The list is far too long to name every accomplishment, so we have prepared a very short two minute video highlighting some of Glenn's work over the years. Welcome aboard, recruit. You think you have what it takes to be a part of NEST? You think you're some kind of hero? Well, you may get your chance. If there's one thing we need out here, it's live bodies. Boy's moving from his bedroom. One wonders if there are still heroes. Mission, I can't let you see him, but I would like you to hear from the leader of the Autobots. Proceed. Then how many? Unclear, sir. Well, get clear. Sir, releasing drive plasma. Vacate the premises immediately. A security guard will show you out. The only thing I will reconsider is having another glass of that delicious champagne. Just cop to cop what's going on here. Any civilians left on the floor? No, we've sealed it off from gas and staff. Good work. I stayed on. I sense it's a difficult day and I wanted to be here for you. I need to get on that chopper. I don't see how that's going to be possible. I need you to decide if you're going to help me. It is now my pleasure to introduce to the graduating class of 2017 a Platt College friend for the last 11 years and Platt College honorary graduate, Mr. Glenn Morshower. Thank you, Glenn.
Well, another year. This is eight years straight. I'm honored to be here. Congratulations to all of the graduates and to your families, starting with Ontario, then Platt expanded out to Riverside, and then Alhambra, and now Riverside's a little carried away with itself. And now Anaheim. Anaheim is part of the family. Awesome, awesome. Um, I just want to take just a moment. I don't plan my talks. That's part of being a tangentialist. And Daryl has been a friend of mine for many, many years. You guys are blessed to have this team together. But I want to just take a moment to tell you about someone, just to mention her name, because I really feel her right now. I feel her presence in this room. But until two years ago, Shelly Paneer, a dear friend of mine, sang the national anthem here for several years straight. And the last time she sang here, which was three years ago, she pulled up in a wheelchair and crawled out of that wheelchair and got up to sing the national anthem. The last two years, she was too sick to sing here. And last year's ceremony, five weeks after the graduation, Shelly passed away. And I just want to mention, she was my closest friend and I want to mention, Shelly, we feel you here today, and God bless you. Um, you know, I've got several things to talk about, and they have me mic'd so that I can move about, which is a beautiful thing because I seldom stand at a podium, but I, I want to mention that Platt College, the growth of Platt College is so incredible. I have watched this crowd grow bigger and bigger every year. And now Daryl has been talking to me about future broadcasts for radio and what the radio ads plugging Platt College might sound. So fast forward with me, if you will, in time to radio in the year 2020, when the announcements for Platt College will end something like this. It will say, Platt College available now in cities such as Ontario, Alhambra, Riverside, Anaheim, Bellflower, Canoga Park, Garden Grove, Torrance, West, Covina, West, LA, San Bernardino, North Hollywood, Pasadena, City of Orange, Costa Mesa, Riverside, Upland, and the city of Rancho Cucamonga. So I fully expect Platt to expand to that extent. I've been an actor my whole life. I was born in Dallas, Texas. At age 18, I made the decision to move to Los Angeles. And I would be remiss if I didn't teach, I mean, you have 7,000 people here, it seems like I owe you the opportunity to learn how to speak in Texan. And we're going to do that by just having you count with me to 10, if you would, in Texan. Will you, will you play along? Will you repeat after me? You'll remember this for a long time. You will not be able to unhear this. So repeat if you would. Just say one, two, three. No, you got to stick your chin out and look a lot more stupid than that. Okay, it goes like this. Two. That was pretty good. Three. The next one is two syllables. It's pronounced four. No, that was four. It's four, and it rhymes with lawn mower. Say it with me. Four. Back of the throat. Five. Whistle on your S's. Six. Let me hear that whistle. Six. The next one, in the state of Texas, we had a march in the 1950s on the capital of Austin and had the letter V removed from the number seven. So in most states, they still spell it S-E-V-E-N. In Texas, we spell it S-E-B-M, not N, and it's pronounced seven. Oh, that was perfect. Back of the throat, eight, nine, they're up here doing it. It's awesome. <laughs> Say it with me again. Nine. And this one's two syllables. Ten, which rhymes with Glenn. Awesome. Okay, so um, I want to tell you, first of all, graduates, one of the things, the two things you will need more than anything for success in your life. You will need gratitude, first and foremost. Gratitude. Gratitude at the beginning of each day, gratitude throughout the day, gratitude at the end of the day. And whether you believe in God or not, I happen to, but Daryl didn't ask me to run a church service, 
Whether you believe in God or not is not the issue. You can still be in gratitude at all times. And I got to tell you, gratitude will keep you well and it will keep your life well. Wake up and be thankful that you made it through another night. Your heart beats 33,560 times while you sleep. 103,680 is what it beats throughout 24-hour day. That's at 72 beats per minute, the average heart rate. 103,680 per day. That's a lot of ba-bump, ba-bump, ba-bumps. So 33,560 of those go unsupervised. In other words, it's a big deal when you have the privilege of waking up. And every one of us, and this is one of the things that I say at all of the graduations, every one of us, what we have in common is you are winners by design. So graduates, please know this, you do not need to know how to learn to win. It is your nature. We know this because of the fact that to start this whole adventure called life anyway, you outswam, and here's the actual math, 500 million other sperm in order to arrive here. 500 million sperm. Daryl said, be sure to talk about sperm when you're here. So 500 million sperm. That makes 7,000 Little League. So you can see that it is your nature to win. And here's what I believe about each one of you. It is what I have believed about myself my whole life, which is that if you swim that fast, what did you have in mind? You must have had something extraordinary in mind, which was the desire to express. And speaking of expressing, right now I've, I'm feeling this sudden urge to dance. <laughs> All right, that's good, guys. See, a lot of you are under the misguided impression that when you get to your mid-20s, right, when you're, what do they call it, a you know, little 25-year birthday is supposed to be a big deal, then you stop playing, right? And the thing is, we, we get old when we stop playing. So be willing to break out and dance. Please do that when you're like 80. I'll promise you, I'm gonna be the guy when I'm in my 80s that is blowing by people on the freeway and getting out on the hood of my car and doing that number. It's a part of staying young, it's a part of feeling good. I have done some crazy stuff in meetings in order to get jobs. So I mentioned gratitude. Gratitude is huge. In addition to gratitude, here's one I don't talk about a lot, but I want to today, which is the importance of having a sense of humor. Oh, a sense of humor will get you through. And I got to tell you, so many of the jokes that I acquire, you, you don't have to make these jokes up. They happen in life. Here's an example, and I get my jokes out of the newspaper. So I want to share just two, two things that just make me smile all the time. One of them was an article that I read in the Houston Chronicle, certainly a reputable newspaper. And years ago, I was reading the Chronicle, and there was a story about a train that had jumped the track down in McAllen, Texas, in the Rio Grande Valley. It jumped the track, went up over an embankment, through the air, and plowed through the ballroom of a Ramada Inn. And they had a wedding party that was there that was going on. And the train took out 25 people, 20 of them injured, five of them killed. And the Houston Chronicle reported the event this way, and I quote, it appeared that some of the guests were caught by surprise. <laughs> some of them, not, not all of them, which would lead me to believe that somebody was expecting it. Somebody got up that morning, according to the Houston Chronicle, and turned to their beloved and said, you know what, Myrtle? I wouldn't be a bit surprised if a locomotive doesn't fall on our heads today. <laughs> this stuff is in the news. Please read it and smile and feel good. How many of you have ever seen the Netflix series Bloodline? Three of you out of 7,000. Okay, that show is in serious trouble. Three out, oh, four. We have a fourth here. 
So Bloodline is a series that we film in Key Largo, Florida. I was down there for two years of my life. The show was actually very successful. But one day I'm reading the Miami Herald and an article, the caption, the headline says, man killed by duck. Let me repeat that, man killed by duck. Well, this is an article that I need to read, wouldn't you? Who has ever, do you know that the number of people who have been killed by a duck throughout history is still in single digits? And yet, here it was in the newspaper. And I looked at it, and apparently there was a gentleman who was riding on a jet ski going down a waterway, you know, wah, 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 and here comes a low-flying duck coming the opposite direction. And you know, when those ducks are flying low, they have their necks stuck out, and it's like, and bam, and he hits the man right in the middle of the forehead, kills the man and the duck, while his buddy is filming it with a video camera. Here is something that came to my mind. Now, friends and brothers and sisters, my whole life I have lived believing that we go away on the day that we were supposed to go away. And if that's true, I couldn't help but wonder how many times did God miss that guy that day before getting down to the duck option? <laughs> that was my first thought. My second thought was, did his friend who was running the video camera at any point ever consider stopping putting the camera down and going, duck? And then my third and final thought was, oh well, maybe it was the duck's day to die. So these are the things that keep me well, they keep me happy, they keep me smiling. And I want to share a couple of quotes with you that are life-changing. I teach a course, by the way, I am so deeply moved and honored that Platt College has created a scholarship in my name because I've been teaching this program for 30, this is the start of my 33rd year of teaching this program called The Extra Mile. And we will get to graduation here. I'm not going to do a long speech today, but I always like to make sure that my talks are interesting. I make sure they're fun. But this program means everything to me. It lives and experiences its well-being in the center of my heart. And it started out as an audition mastery course for actors many years ago. And I was teaching actors how to increase their batting percentage, and it worked. And it worked big time. And my agent said, you know, no one has ever booked this much work at our agency. Glenn, do you think you could teach this stuff? And I did. And I taught for 14 years in L.A. until finally he said, buddy, you should go on the road with this stuff. And I went to Houston, Texas during this year. I went to many cities. But in Houston, Texas, my life changed when a good old boy came up to me and said, hey, Glenn. And it took him two syllables to say my one-syllable name. He said, hey, Glenn. My granddaughter told me, if you were ever anywhere near Houston, that I was supposed to come hear you speak. And as you can see, I have done that. I said, yes, sir, it appears you have. He said, I want to tell you, you were up there on that stage tonight talking about love and life and power and honor and integrity and backbone and everything we believe in. And I'm wondering if you might come speak to my people at Exxon, and he handed me his business card. And that man changed my life. And that night was the beginning of me speaking in the corporate world, which I've done now for many, many years, speaking to large crowds. And Daryl Goldberg decided that the whole concept of being an extra miler was something he believed in enough to create a scholarship here at this college. And I just want to tell you ever so briefly, probably take me 60 seconds to tell you this, but what it means to even be an extra miler, what does that term mean? And what it means is that in similar situations, we occupy similar or identical moments both differently and better than others would occupy that same moment, meaning that we are operating from a place of maximum efficiency. I don't know any other way to live life. 
I can't stress that enough to you graduates. Live your life with maximum efficiency. You are a machine. Take care of that machine. Take care of it. Give it water. Give it as much water as you can, and every time you start to reach for Coke as a way of life, imagine what Coca-Cola would do to a plant if you fed it a Coke every day. Nothing wrong with grabbing an occasional soda. Have fun. Enjoy your life by all means. But don't ever forget that you're a machine. Don't contaminate your lungs. Take care of this thing. It's the only one you will be issued in this lifetime. It's precious machinery. Value your smile. Say words like, I love you, please, and thank you. By the way, Sergeant Gonzalez and Brian, when you guys hugged each other, I lost it. Look, even the baby's crying. I'm mentioning it, and the child is losing it. When you guys hugged each other, I hope everyone locked in on that moment because, my friends, that is life. That moment between father and son welcoming his father back from his deployment, to me, encapsulates everything that life stands for, everything that is intrinsically good and beautiful. And I saw the two of them get teared up, and I did, and I'm sure many of you did, especially those of you who are closer to them and had a better view. And this is so contrary to what we were taught in life, which is that real men don't cry. Well, you know what? That's a tough serviceman right there, and I watch the tears coming out of his eyes, and it's a thing of beauty. So in addition to saying, please, thank you, I love you, here's another one, I'm sorry. When you've made a mistake, when you've hurt someone's feeling, their feelings, please own your behavior. Don't dodge responsibility in life. Look at them and say, I'm sorry. You know what? That was a mistake, and I did it, and I apologize and ask forgiveness. And by all means, don't withhold forgiveness. Be willing to forgive others. So I've got a couple of quotes, one of which is from Gandhi. And I love this quote. He says, your beliefs, so he starts with beliefs, your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. We can compress all of that to come to the understanding that if we start at his first thought and end with his last, we can compress it down to your beliefs become your destiny. So what are you busy believing on this day of your graduation? What are you busy believing? What are you busy believing about yourself? What are you busy believing about life? What are you believing about this fantastic and mysterious dance we have on this beautiful blue ball in the middle of space? It's an incredible dance, and it is brief. It goes by pretty fast, especially if you look at some of these old farts up here, right? Every one of them's going, yeah, he's right, he's right. It goes by really, really fast. So here's another quote. This one is from Aristotle, who, by the way, a little known fact, was a huge fan of Mexican fast food. And that's why I call him Aristotle. Nine people understood that. Awesome. So what Aristotle said, or Aristotle, he said that soul and body react sympathetically with each other. A change in the state of the soul produces a change in the shape of the body. And conversely, a change in the shape of the body produces a change in the state of the soul. What he was saying, and this is really directed at you guys, and you will need this throughout your lives, is that your soul and body want to stay together and cohabitate, and they wish to have a cooperative relationship with one another. So if you start with prioritizing your soul and the deepest yearnings of your soul, when and if you make that your extreme priority, everything else will go along with it, and especially your body, because your body won't want to be a misrepresentation of the joy that your soul is having. So your body will insist upon staying in shape. 
And here's the thing, regarding any kind of toxicity in your life, I invite you to become joyously intolerant of it, where you simply have no tolerance for that which attacks you. You're careful, you prune your garden and you make life wonderful. I'm gonna wrap up today because we have a lot of names to get through. Um, I do wanna mention that my personal hero excuse me, was Michelangelo. For this reason, Michelangelo took a flawed piece of marble and carved it into arguably one of the most beautiful statues in history, the Statue of David. It sits in Florence, Italy, and when Michelangelo was asked, how did you carve such a beautiful statue? His response to me defines life. He said, I didn't carve David. I simply carved away everything that wasn't David. It's brilliant. And what he was saying is that in these blocks of marble that we've been issued called us, that we have the right given to us to carve whatever life we want. And the way we do that is by carving away everything that doesn't facilitate its outpicturing. Anything that would be contrary to you showing up as loving, carve it away. Anything that would show up as contrary to being unkind, carve it away. Anything that would show up as contrary to being unhealthy, or being healthy rather, carve it away. Anything that doesn't support the life that you dream of, carve it away. That's the deal. That's the deal. You're getting ready to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. By all means, have fun, and as we say in Texas, go kick some butt. God bless you all. At this time, I'd like to invite Oli Magical, our Ontario Dean of Academics, Brad Janis, Anaheim Campus President, and Michael Nilsson, Riverside Campus President, to join me in announcing the 2017 Faculty and Student of the Year. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming out today. I'm going to introduce the Faculty of the Year for the Ontario campus. This faculty member came to Platt College two years ago and spent the first two weeks, like many people do, wide-eyed and wondering what she'd gotten herself into. But she didn't stay that way long. She stepped into the role of instructor and mentor to the students and never looked back. She quickly became a favorite of the students and faculty alike. She spends a great deal of time tutoring students in any subject that is needed. She assists faculty and students in all departments with technology, organizational skills, anything needed. Platt College is a much better place with Kristen in it. Please, I, please help me in welcoming Kristen White, Faculty Member of the Year. I know she's here, I saw her. She is. Hey, Kristen. Good job. Faculty of the Year. I now have the pleasure in 
uh, announcing the student of the year at the Ontario campus. Being a student of the year doesn't simply mean that you have the best grades or the best attendance or that you've achieved the highest awards possible. At Platt College, we look at the entire picture, the obstacles that some students have to go to to make it through their program, the effort it takes to go above and beyond the circumstances that might make it easier to just quit than to move forward in your education. Our student of the year is a single mom raising her son. She took care of her mother who was ill and she herself was also ill while in her, uh, pursuing her career. Her mom just passed away, sorry to say. She took care of her mom, she took care of herself, and she made it through her program. She didn't let it, it may have slowed her down, but she didn't let it defeat her. She did exceptionally well and was a, a very professional during her clinical reg, uh, rotations and had an encouraging feedback from her supervisors. She completed a research project with the Regional Respiratory Therapy Educator from Kaiser Permanente, which she was published in the respiratory care journal called RC Squared. She presented the abstract and poster at the annual convention of the California Society of Respiratory Care in Escondido this year. She won first place. She overcame many obstacles through a very difficult program without looking, losing sight of her goal to become a registered respiratory therapist. She has a sweet disposition and an attitude that encouraged her classmates and the faculty. She is an example of success in spite of everything telling you that you can't do it. Please help me welcome our student of the year, Carmen Martinez. Of you guys know, but I can't see anything up here, so okay, thank you. There we go. What can I say about this instructor from our Alhambra campus? She's very challenging, but in a good way. She is often in my office almost every day with concerns about her students and how she can help them succeed. She's tenacious and she never gives up. When she comes to talk to me, the first thing she'll say is, are you sick of me yet? I, I answer, well, it depends on what you want. Then we laugh. She's outspoken, but I like that because it shows me that she really cares. The Faculty of the Year is a very special award. I wish I could give it to all my faculty, but I only choose one. It is a great honor and pleasure to announce Alhambra Campus's Faculty of the Year, Mary Holmes. Now, Mary, don't run out the door. I know you're there. For student of the year, <clears throat> what can I say about this student other than literally she's amazing. Excellent attendance, excellent grades, excellent attitude. 
The student has worked very hard and remained focused no matter what obstacles she faced. The student is always challenging herself and the instructors. The student is a great leader. Other students look up to her. It is no surprise to me when I was told by the program director she even found a job prior to graduation. It is my great pleasure and honor to announce a student of the year from El Harbor campus, Caitlin Pexter from the Vet Tech program. Hello, I'm Mike Nelson, campus president for the Riverside campus. And it's my it's my pleasure to award the honorees for the Riverside campus. The faculty at Platt College Riverside have chosen a colleague who has a deep commitment to the growth and success of the students who come in contact with this instructor. This instructor has demonstrated many times going above and beyond to provide our students with a quality educational experience. This instructor is a strong team player who jumps in and supports the campus at large. This instructor has also continued to grow and develop skills with additional education. Please join me in congratulating the Platte College Riverside 2017 Teacher of the Year, Judy Vasquez. Now I'd like to introduce our Student of the Year. Riverside Student of the Year honoree is someone who has joined us just out of high school. Our honoree has shown a tremendous amount of maturity and commitment to her educational goals and keeping a job. As we tell our students, 80% of the success here at Platt College is just showing up. Our honoree took that to heart and did not miss a single day. She also has one of the best GPAs on campus. She's well respected by her fellow students, her clinical site, and all faculty members. She's a people's person helping everyone around her. Her friends love her due to her sincerity, dependability, and loyalty. Please join me in congratulating Platt College Riverside Student of the Year, Katie Schlachter. And last but not least, Anaheim. Woo! So Anaheim's Instructor of the Year has been with Platt College since 2013. Before transferring to the Anaheim campus last year, this instructor helped challenge, change and challenge the lives of countless students at our Alhambra location. When it was announced that a new Anaheim location would be opening, he jumped at the opportunity to assist in the startup of our campus. A lot of work goes into building a startup campus. As you can imagine, there are many tasks to perform, 
Labs need to be assembled, supplies purchased, and processes need to be put into place. I can remember numerous times over the past year when I needed help and I was looking for a set of hands, Chris was always there ready to assist. <laughs> Having come from an existing Platt campus, Chris was also instrumental in training many of our new faculty in Canvas, our online learning system. In the classroom, Chris consistently scores high marks from both his supervisors and his students. He regularly scores among the highest on student surveys with comments such as, Dr. Jordan is the main reason I have all the knowledge that I've gained. Or, Dr. Jordan is able to try and keep class material interesting so we stay tuned in. But perhaps the comment that summarizes the best is this one. I like the charisma of the teacher. Him enjoying what he teaches really encourages me to enjoy learning what he is teaching. That's pretty profound. So not only is Dr. Jordan a knowledgeable and talented educator, but he's also a fantastic team player. And I'm proud to designate him as the Platt College Anaheim Teacher of the Year. Dr. Jordan. And now on to the Anaheim Student of the Year. It's my honor to also say a few words about the Anaheim Student of the Year. As a, mass, as a matter of practice, I always look up our nominees' academic performance to see how they've done over the last few years. In this student's case, her stats are impressive. I was particularly impressed by her attendance. Life always gets in the way of our students, but this student always seemed to find a way to make her school a priority, which is why, more than likely, she's being recognized today. When I asked our faculty to put together a few words about our nominee, here's what they said. Brianna is an exceptional student with excellent grades. She is one of the most disciplined students I have seen in a long time. Brianna is well-liked and respected by both her peers and her instructors. She is a compassionate young lady with praiseworthy perseverance and ambition. She is a role model for all students who know her in both her capacity at school and in the community. Brianna has an eagerness to learn new things and is always happy to share her knowledge with her fellow students. Her enthusiasm for learning, medical assisting, came through with her great attitude and professionalism. I'd like to recognize Brianna Murphy and congratulate her as Anaheim Student of the Year. Please join me one more round of applause for the 2017 Faculty and Student of the Year. <laughs> Graduates, family, friends, staff, and faculty, we've come to the point in the ceremony where we honor our graduates individually as they walk across the stage and receive the diplomas. All the graduates at this time are considered candidates for their degrees that they are graduating with today. I'd like to take a moment to explain the procedure that will transpire. There are two parts. First, 
Graduate candidates will be individually recognized by walking across the stage. Candidates will come up by department in order of seated. Names will be called one by one, and the candidates will be congratulated by the administration and receive their diplomas. Students who are on the left-hand side will come up to the left. Students on the right-hand side will come up to the right-hand side of the stage. For your convenience, there is a family photo zone on the left and right side of the stage dedicated for photos. Second part, after all the names have been called, the official confirmation of the degrees and diplomas we perform by the Vice President of Campus, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Vice President of Campus Operations, Daryl Goldberg. We ask all the graduates to remain seated until all the names have been called, and Daryl Goldberg has officially ended the ceremony. We hope to make this a wonderful experience for all of you. Thank you. Bachelors of Science, Diagnostic Medical Sonography. For Associates and Bachelors, Christina Reyes. Bachelor of Arts, Healthcare Management. Hayden Forrest. Craig McNair. Yeah. Katie Schlachter. Karen Hernandez Chavez. Shanae Akins Johnson. Oscar Hernandez Fuentes. Daniela Mendoza. Stephanie Gutierrez. Stephanie Serrano. Elizabeth Campos. Jessica Castaneda. Okay, how do you do that? Warwan Ankachan. Severa Sullivan. Rajbir Carr. Patricia Esquivel. Shirley Perez. Samantha Blackader. Jasmine Silva. Cassandra Jones. Valentina Osegueda. Emily Chavez. <laughs> Melissa Ramirez. Jonathan Marcus. Hazel Rodriguez. Cristina Leonor Estrada. Violeta Ayala. Mariela Muñoz. Danielle McLagan. Michelle Reeves. Lisbeth Martinez. Lisa Walker. Oscar Villatoro. Taylor Russell. Brittany Stoltz. Christina Wagner. Nicole Caruso. Daphne Strickland. 
Brianna Villarreal. Stephanie Machen. Aisha Williams. <laughs> Jessica Moss. Lisa Barnes. <laughs> Taryn Scroggum. Erica Belviar. Associate of Science, Diagnostic Medical Sonography. Jennifer Nat Brown. Natalie Gareses. Linda Harris. Brooke Smith. Maria Rincon. Brittany Hansen. Shanice Williams. Shauna Barnett. Marina Godoy. Stephanie Alanis. Andrew Dang. Samira Gray. Sangha Jigmampri. Jimena Dominic. Yvonne Aguilar. Jennifer Del Rio. Matthew Cloutman. Brianna Sandoval. Devon Kittles. Kiana Sandoval. Sandra Martinez Del Toro. Donna Flores. Rebecca Wu. Sarah Quam. Beatriz Tamayo. Michael Campbell. Via Ziong. Lizeth Mendoza. Mary Almeda. Margaret Salazar. Ria Fernandez. Valerie Long. Baltasar Gonzalez. Nicey Moten. Now the Associates of Science Medical Administrative Specialist. Felicia Johnson. Michelle Gonzalez. Alba Ramirez. Daniela Espinosa. Alejandra Jaramillo. Yasmin Valenzuela. Raquel Jaramillo. Jenna Lee. Myra Martinez. Shafali Angeles. Viridiana Silva. Sandy Salazar. Marianne Gomez. Trevin Alvarado. Arlisha Burling. Pavin Sadu. Samantha Morales. Mary Lee. Cynthia Velasquez. Joshua Nagy. Stephanie Barrios. Stefania Salas. Jacqueline Tovar. Caitlin Ifli. Yareli Martinez. Alexandria Darnes. Brittany Cortez. Brianna Zimke. Amanda Calderon. Amy Bellenbaum. Blanca Larios. Isabella Talant. Fernanda Garcia. Gloria Blanco. Crystal Gaiden. 
Christy Tran. Pamela Ramos. Janelle Romero. Naila Vidal. Dustin Lee. Michael Camarena. Casey Coleman. Raquel Robles. Nancy Heddington. Israel Huerta. Jose Galindo. Tamara Anderson. Christine Chung. Myra Jaramillo. Margarita Sendejas. Liliana Marquez. Claudia Quintero. Susana Camacho. Austin Chow. Jennifer Cordova. Jessica Sanchez. Christian Gill. Vanessa Lomelli. Sandra Aguilar Lopez. Jessica Lomelli. And now the Associate of Science Medical Assistant. Jacqueline De La Rosa. Natalie Trejo. Emily Espinosa. Daniel Saucedo. Monica Orozco. Rebecca Holmes. Kimberly Oselli. Monica Garcia. Marisol Garcia Villanueva. Melissa Gomez. Karina Salcedo. Katria Barraco. Katie Bañales. Lauren Perez. Chantal Vasquez. Brittany Perez. Brianna Murphy. Jasmine Sosa. Kathy Lee. Kristen Purrington. Diane Perez. Andrea Sanchez. Kylie Diet. Myrna Reese. Emily Roder. Lindsay Gross. Jasmine Thomas. Brittany Leopold. Leslie Johnson. Garcia Leach. Anessa Polak. Morgan Plummer. Yvette Luevanos. John Mixon. Monica Mendoza. Jezabel Gonzalez. Omega Chi. Michelle Hunter. Sean Reynolds. Elisa Duchimasa. Chelsea Farmer. Stephanie Worthington. Erica Mandujano. Rosie Ramos. Moses De Paz. Crystal Eskew. Brian Gutierrez. Chantal Nesbeth. Kimberly Martinez. Sasha Bracero. Jasmine Luna. Austin Ganino. Saray Lucas. Selena Morales. Brianna La. 
shot. <laughs> Alyssa Gomez. Alondra Contreras. Yvette Hart. Marissa Aceves. Sabrina Hamilton. Cecilia Jimenez. Aaron Garcia. Brenda Ornelas. Janice Mitchell. Jean Toe. Danielle Yammer. Jonathan Zutuk. Rachel Treyes. Jasmine Hernandez. Kimberly Bermudez. Brian Flores. Amy Suavenen. Sylvia Jimenez. Noemi Jimenez. Alyssa Gonzalez. Sybil Wilson. Michaela White. Valicia Reed. Ruby Hernandez. Brianna Burks. Ashley Romero. Marco? Lauren Merco. Ninali Perez. Tawana Randolph. <laughs> Jessica Palacios. <laughs> Candice Nelson. <laughs> Stephanie Lopez. Alora Dodson. Lourdes Lopez. Alexandra Rose Johnson. Stephanie Tavira. Brooke Chavez. Stephanie Delgado. Casey Nestra. Ashley Canui. Andrew Contreras. Francesca Ortega Gonzalez. Aaron Christine Bodine. Rosa Isela Menera. Myra Corona. Yasmin Sanchez. Cristina Guitron. Giovanna Alvarez. Maria Nolasco Reyes. Iridiana Mojarro. Catherine Merchant. Angelica Hernandez. Isa Danielle McCormick. Guadalupe Barragan. Tracy Rogan. Kimberly Martinez. Sierra Robinson. Marlene Ortiz. Chelsea McCarty. Stephanie Campos. Erin McCarty. Elizabeth Hernandez. Stephanie Gutierrez. And now the Associate of Science and Respiratory Therapy. Casey Kianoski. Mariah Avalos. James Chase. Milan Bryant. Darren Pagano. Ivy Wynn. Saxon Moroski. Sproul. Christina Fan. James Sproul. Nermin Othman. Benjamin Delaney. Karen Giraldo. Arturo Vitella. Bianca Flowers. Ariana Oya. 
Crystal Navarro. Martha Hayford. Samantha Medges. Jolina San Diego. Laura Rockland. Devante Donaldson. Associate of Science Veterinary Technician. Victoria Ines Duron. Noemi Torres. Angelica Trujillo. Noemi Renteria. Ashley Morris. Jonathan Coscuyuela. Tiffany Archer. Elizabeth Ceballos. Brittany Jowers Shoemaker. Thomas Dugan. Gina Neal. Crystal Javon Gamboa. Carl Alon. Ralph Zamuco. It's lit. Monica Gonzalez. Janiel Marcelo. Raquel Orona. Karina Colmenero. Liliana Rodriguez. Skyan Austin. Angelica Acosta. Victoria Fudge. Jessica Asensio. Christian Lim. America Alvarez. Soini Francine Nadal. Jacqueline Gomez. Jose Andrade. Irene Lopez. Alex Antonian. Brittany Valentin. Elisa Salazar. Jordan Belt. Rosemary Montoya. Alexia Martinez. Jasmine de la Cueva. Tiffany Ray. Renika Bird. Bruce Wilson. Okay, Eka. Adrian Galvez. Darren Million. Caitlin Texa. Glenn Luib. Linda Thurman. Rocio Sanchez. Caitlin Coles. Amber Valdez. Alexandra Gutierrez. Carmen Martinez. I don't. Yeah, please. Crystal Alejo. Jorge Radilla. Michael Sanchez. Donald Lawrence. Elizabeth Kosmeski. Wilson Morales. Jasmine Elizabeth Garcia. Roman Dazon. Jacqueline Ojeda. <laughs> and now the Bachelors of Arts in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Willie yeah. Johnson. Congratulations. Heather Smith. Yes, Jamal Ruffin. Zulma Lopez. Philip Dorame. Congratulations. Young. Camille Young. Lisbeth Saldana. Marky Perez. Jonathan Austria. Navoa. Navoa. Karen Navoa. Fernando Cortez. Adela. Adela Hernandez. Vanessa Jauregui. 
Andrea Rodríguez. Gabriela Gonzalez. Christine Smith. Junior Santiago. Elizabeth Barra. Jake Hutch. Stormy Bird. Daniel Castañeda. Cassandra Angel. Sergio Gonzalez. Jeannie Miller. Monique De La Cruz. Jaslyn Fajardo. Leslie Alamilla. Victoria Cusick. Marissa Gallegos. Victoria Caton. Brandon Cruz. Taylor Bird. Roger De Leon. Lauren Bridgman. And now the Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice. Jasmine Carrillo. Cassie Anderson Bohannon. Antonio Aguirre. Jessica Rosales. Michelle Morales. Mireya Huereca. Michelle Delgado. Desiree De Santiago. Arnold Giza. Yvette Amavisca. Heather Miracle. Jasmine Jimenez. Alondra Anaí Gonzalez. Leslie Lugo. Haley Rowlett Rogers. Amber Pacheco. Alyssa Jackson. Andrew Huerta. Anaí Arellano. Ashley Jimenez. Brandon Espitia. Morgan Roberts Plunkett. Lisette Aguiluz. Taylor Sampi. Chiniqua Zamora. Cassie Busell. London Levings. Juvie Cosio. Constance Harbor. Corina Mullen. Ashley Barreto. Kelsey Real. Frank Calderon. Amy Young. Christopher Monadio. Jill Haberbush. Grisel Olivares. Ashley Thompson. Vanessa Gabriel. Bobby Kushner. Cassandra Ornelas Ortega. Lorenzo Guzman. Elizabeth Grande. Lois Bolden. Lois Bolden. Lydia Negrete. Courtney Smith. Brian Gonzalez. Adriana Cook. Dioselen Sandoval. Dana Camplin. Jocelyn Lagunas. Raylin Chumley. Gilbert Perez. Chantel Santiago. Maylee Bojorquez. Bertha Huerta. Guadalupe Jimenez. 
Janae Valdez. Giselle Herrera. Chanel Green Singh. Zuleika Espinosa Villa. Dominique Sepulveda. Roberto Alvarez. Araceli Rivera. Samantha Serrano. Cassandra Carlin. Jennifer Valdez. Yamelin Meza. Tobias Robertson. Jules Grove. Everardo Gonzalez. Ana Rodriguez. Alicia Sanchez. Destiny Rivera Salazar. Alyssa Gibson. Victoria Cervantes. Sharda Randall. Meister. Susana Meister. Alyssa Adame. Andrea Huizar. Kiara Rincon. Catherine Stevens. Refugio Samudio. Perla Montano. Jordan Lizarraga. Tiffany Kohlschmidt. Alejandro Rodriguez. Lacey Miranda. Zachary Vigil. Helena Tafoya. Dante Salazar. Allison Wenny. And now the Associate of Arts in Small Business Management. Christian Reed. Melanie Eklund. Harmon Dillon. Gloria Guillen. Joellen DeSasau. Lisset Juarez. Miguel Martinez. Berta Machado. Lacey Gavin. Rosemary Valle. Arlen Lopez. Amber Rivera. Welton Moody Jr. And now Associates for Paralegal Studies, Brianna Miller. Robert Carlos. Jasmine Reyes. Jaime Cervantes. Irma Martinez. Richard Agurcia. Monique Franco. Carla Flores. Verónica Rojas. Regina Corona. Janela Barrera. Emily Perez. Veronica Quackenbush. Gardner Dillon. Sarai. Sarai Ibarra Cruz. Alex Ordaz. Jennifer Serrano. Alejandro Alcala Mandujano. Leslie Larios. Vanessa Polanco. Darlene Contreras. Brenda Valencia. Elizabeth Perez. Amy Montero. Melinda Quintana. Denise Acevedo. And now Bachelors of Arts in Viscom. Anthony Rodolfo Estrada. Mario Gallegos. Clarence Kennedy. 
Gustavo Villa. <laughs> Enrique Ganive. And now the Associate of Science in Vocational Nursing. Janet Romero. Casey Wesson. Justina Hendry. Mark Patino. And now the Bachelor of Arts in Paralegal. Michelle Yigorin. Associate of Arts in Graphic Design, Ryan Puig. Cecilia Mendez. Freddy Duran. Angelica Hernandez. Brianna Rodriguez. Teresa Snyder. Luis Ruiz. Daniel Alvarado. Roberto Padilla. Katrina Vasquez. Brian Galvan. Julie Martinez. Aldo Leon. Majeli Espinosa. Christopher Mims. Jessica Cruz. Doreen Mayorga. Kimberly Galvan Mata. Alyssa Lopez. And now the bachelor is in visual communications animation. Karen Vizcara. Marissa Lopez Arroyo. Samuel Jimenez. Felicia Vargas. Manuel Muñoz. Freddy Ibarra. Michael Del Valle. Catherine Diaz. Jose Polak. Christina Gonzalez, paralegal. Let's have a big round of applause for our graduates. I can't hear you. That's better. I have a couple of quick announcements. Our special guest of honor, Glenn, will be available outside after the ceremony in the lobby for photos and signature uh, for autographs. Also, we ask that everyone remain seated till the graduates and the officials on stage exit the auditorium. Graduates, candidates for the Bachelor's of Arts degrees in paralegal, visual communications, criminal justice, diagnostic medical sonography, respiratory therapy, and healthcare management, please rise and remain standing. Graduates and candidates for the Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, including paralegal studies, criminal justice, medical assisting, medical administrative specialist, diagnostic medical sonography, respiratory therapy, vet technology, small business management, and graphic design, please rise and remain standing. Graduates of medical assisting diploma program and graphic design diploma program, please rise and remain standing. Vice President Goldberg, it is my privilege to present these candidates for Bachelors of Arts, Associate in Science degrees, Associate of Art degrees, and diplomas. 
It is with great pride of the faculty that we re recommend these graduates to receive their respective degrees and diplomas. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of Platt College and by authority of the administrative body and ACCSC, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degrees, associate's degrees, or diplomas with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left, signifying the confirmation of your degree. <laughs> Graduates, this has been a momentous occasion, one that has a deep history in higher education. You have now received the authority to practice in your field by recommendation of the faculty you work with daily, and you were certified by the presidents of your respective schools you attended. Please represent Platt College well. Graduates, there is only one more message to deliver before we conclude the ceremony today. At Platt College, our motto is that it is all about your future. On behalf of Platt College staff, faculty, and administration, we want to be the first to welcome you to your future.
Plans on a chart. 